New at 530, a potential medical breakthrough in the fight against cancer. Researchers at Florida International University have developed a new approach that targets the disease by testing different drugs on tumor samples to determine the best possible treatment. As CBS News Miami's Morgan Reiner reports, the method is already saving lives. Patient 13 credits a study being published today for saving his life. Today we met the face behind patient 13, an eight-year-old boy named Logan. Logan Jenner was diagnosed with acute myelinoid leukemia at three years old. His mom was pregnant at the time. And she happened to be his perfect match. So they took the blood from the umbilical cord, and that was his first transplant. And it was just, my husband calls it a Cinderella story, and it really is. What can possibly go wrong when you have a 100% matched sibling? Logan initially responded to treatment, but 14 months later, even with a perfect match through his sister, the cancer was back. When I saw Dr. Fader and um, his nurse practitioner, Erica, walking towards me, I already knew um, that something was off. You can just see in their faces that it looks grim. His pediatric oncologist, Dr. Fader, said treatment the first time around is hard enough, but after relapse, chances of survival decrease. We had to tell them that now that he's already had everything that's considered upfront standard of care and it's come back, that there is less than a 30% likelihood that we will get him back into remission and have him here in the next three years. That's where Dr. Azam comes in at Florida International University. Her research helps determine which course of treatment would work best. With consent, it took Logan's blood sample. A biopsy or a sample from the patient sent to the lab and adding all these drugs directly on the cells will identify what works and what doesn't on the patient's cancer cells. So instead of doctors having to guess what works and what doesn't, are these toxic? They came up with a unique treatment plan, weeding out treatment that made Logan sick the first time around. Logan's mom calls it a miracle. He entered remission. Two years later, he's still cancer free. I definitely hope it inspires hope in parents, you know, that can't see the light right now and it encourages them to reach out to FIU, to Nicholas, to Diana, Dr. Fader, our foundation, Live Like Bella, um, and ask the right questions. You know, don't settle for, you know, the first answer you're told. Right now, the study is going through a certification process. The goal is to make it available to as many patients as possible through clinical trials. The goal is hopefully to have the certification process done by the end of the year. At FIU, Morgan Reiner, CBS News, Miami.